mentioned financial statements before, so the question is, what is financial statements? After the intro. Okay, so the question is, what is financial statements? But before I can answer that question, let's start with what is financial statements not? Firstly, financial statements is not a secret. Financial statements is pretty much public knowledge, especially if the company is a publicly listed company. Even a private company such as a PTY Limited or a close corporation or like a CC, when you submit your annual return to the CIPC, which I've mentioned before, you have to supply what is known as a financial accountability supplement and the same information that goes on the financial statements essentially goes into this financial accountability supplement so the question is is it really secret no it's not any information once submitted to the CIPC is considered to be in the public domain secondly it's not rocket science think of the financial statements as simply a storybook that's written in a foreign language and as an accountant a very large portion of my job is to be the interpreter of that foreign language to you the user the owner the company whatever the, the client might be so it's not rocket science it's just a foreign language that tells a story thirdly it is not the director's report or the auditor's report these items are included in what is known as the annual financial statements under the Companies Act, but the financial statements itself, it's not. So what is the financial statements then? And what is the annual financial statements? And what's the difference between the two? Because I've just said what's financial statements. This video is on what is financial statements. And here I'm talking about financial statements and annual financial statements and that they're not the same thing. And let me explain. Financial statements is defined in the IAS 1 paragraph 9 as, I'll explain to what that paragraph in IAS 1 is, being a structured representation of the financial position and the financial performance of an entity. The financial statements is essentially then just a summary of all the transactions and activities the company went through during the year. So the concept of financial statements four companies usually consist of four reports, four statements. Statement of financial position, which is usually your balance sheet. Statement of financial performance, which is usually your income sheet. Statement of changes in equity. Explain what that is in a bit. And then the fourth one is a statement of cash flows. So these statements often have a different name. Your cash flow statement, income statement, balance sheet, and statement of equity. And they have different names depending on which framework you're using. But don't let that confuse you. The essence is that these four aspects, that's what they do. That's their purpose. But sometimes these financial statements are just a summary of what happened. And you might need further explanation or you might need some more detail. And for that reason, there is what's known as the notes. Now, the notes are literally just sections of the reports where they explain in a bit more detail, like the description of this video. What is frameworks and what's that IAS one thing that I mentioned earlier? Okay, to ensure that there is some sort of consistency throughout all the reports in the world, the content and the layout is quite often regulated by some sort of a guideline. Now, we as accountants call these guidelines frameworks. The frameworks in turn are supported by standards or at least broken up into certain standards. And the frameworks and the standards are continually updated because of the global changing economy and the global economy and the global economy consistently changing. Right. So these books, even though they are only a year and a half old, 
and somewhat outdated, contain the standards of what is known as the International Financial Reporting Standards. That's the framework this one, this set of books contains. All right, so it, it's a framework, the International Financial Reporting Standards, or as I call them, IFRS, or IFRS, I've also been heard them called, is a standard that's used by companies globally around the world. It's the International Financial Reporting Standards. Where they are, where they come from, that is not really important at the moment. It's just an example of what the standards could be and what they look like. A couple of thousand of pages worth of interesting reading if you're tired at night. Don't tell anyone I said that. So what is the annual financial statement state? The annual financial statement is regulated by the Companies Act in South Africa. It contains those four elements that I've mentioned, the balance sheet income statement, cash flow statement, and statement of changes in equity. But it also contains a director's report, an auditor's report, or if the company doesn't have to be audited, independently reviewed, the independent reviewer's report, or if they doesn't need either of them, the independent compiler's report. And in the case of the CC, it requires the member's report and the accounting officer's report. All right. So these reports are what makes the financial statements annual financial statements. Annual financial statements is Section 30 of the Companies Act. Financial statements is international. And that's the difference between the two. The annual financial statements is simply just your company set of financial statements with the report. That's that's the difference, right? Make sense? Great. Okay, so what does this look like? What does financial statements actually look like? Fortunately, I've got an example for you. Now, this example, I think I've mentioned it earlier, I literally just went online went onto this company's website and drew this financial financial statements now for copyright reasons i've censored or blurred or hidden some some concepts that could be referred back to the company but this is public information if you know if you identify the company well done means you've actually had a look at financial statements before so this is a large retailer, a large retailing company that is listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. This set of financial statements was drafted using IFRS. Okay, And though it may look complicated, for smaller companies, it's quite often much simpler. The basic layout is the same, the level of detail is somewhat less and because this is a very large retailer with a very large set of business activities there's a large amount of compliance necessary whereas for a smaller more specialist company not so much and then their financial statements would be somewhat shorter somewhat smaller the four major statements look very much the same the biggest difference is in the accounting policies and the notes first let's have a look at the index the index in this case is page three or four it's literally an index to show where which document is financial statements and the annual financial statements especially is a formal report after all and because of that reason it's usually bound in some sort of book form or in this case an ebook and pdf so an index is important the first five items on this index is the reports as per the companies act and requirements as per the companies act then only we have the four main financial statements or the financial reports. Okay, so after the financial statements, we have the notes, and after the notes, the next shares. And for purposes of this video, the next shares isn't something that we require, it's not part of your financial statements, it's just additional disclosure voluntarily by this company. This is the balance sheet or statement of financial position. It shows the values of the different classes of assets, the different liabilities, and the owner's equity, or just equity, if you will. And this is where the accounting function comes in. Let's explain a bit more about that when we get to the statement of changes in equity. This is the income statement, or the statement of financial performance. 
it shows the total incomes and expenses for the year for this company or in this case a group of companies and it shows the net profit or the net loss of the companies for the year. This is the statement of changes in equity or the equity statement or it has many different names. But this essentially shows the movement in the amount that the assets exceeded the liabilities. This is the accounting function. Equity is the amount by which assets exceed liabilities. And this statement essentially is a summary of the movement between what happened two years ago, what happened last year, and the balance at the end of this year. It just shows the movements of equity for the two years. It's an easy concept, but only if you understand the other elements of accounting and how they interact with each other. If you don't, I'll admit this does sound a bit like rocket science, but don't worry. Keep watching my video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll get you there eventually. This is the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is simple. It's exactly what the name says. It shows cash flow. Cash that the entity received is shown as a positive figure and cash that the entity paid is shown as a negative figure or in brackets in this case. And so the balance at the end of the year, figure right at the bottom, that is the amount of cash, the physical hard cash the company had either in a vault somewhere and in various different bank accounts across the world because this is an international entity. So across the world in different bank accounts. This statement shows what cash came in, what cash went out. It shows which customers paid, it shows where they had to pay suppliers. It shows where they had to pay to buy new assets, where they paid to sell assets. It shows movement of cash. It shows cash flow. Then, I've mentioned before that We've got notes in all of these statements. You will notice a line item that says or a, a column with small little numbers in them. These little numbers refer to a note number and each one of these notes then provide a bit more detail. It creates more context of what happened. It explains these financial statements, these four statements that I've just shown you. It explains these statements so you know exactly what happened in this last year and how everything came to be. And that, in a nutshell, is your financial statements. Please subscribe to this channel if you found some value in this video. Hit a like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions on financial statements. And I'll be happy to answer them. My name is Jacques and this is Pretoria Accounting Services.